The Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine has three set needle positions, but I'm going to show you how you can get a few more. So this particular knob right here at the top, usually you're going to have the needle with the dot in the center when you're doing normal straight stitching. And that's important because if you are following any of the lines on the throw plate for seam allowance, that's where it's measured from. So if your needle's to the left, or to the right, that might not be the exact line or number that you think you're going to get. So start with it in the center. And um, let's just talk about these particular ones. I'm on a straight stitch, stitch length two and a half, and my width option here is set to zero. I'm gonna come back to this one in a second. Now, one thing that you can do is you can actually change needle positions while you're sewing. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I need to be over here, you can bounce it over there. What you don't wanna do is be stopped with your needle in the fabric and turn this dial or even turn your width dial because that needle is going to move and it's gonna kind of drag in your fabric. So even just turn the hand wheel enough so your needle kind of comes up above your fabric, then turn it or go ahead and stitch when you are turning it. That's no problem at all. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back to a center needle position. So over here on the width, I mentioned you should be at zero because that's center for this particular option here. And then as you turn this to one or two or three, you will find that your needle will move from center and have all the options as it works its way to the far left needle position. So you have all of those options. So where do you even use the needle position? I use it when I'm top stitching, I'm stitching in the ditch. Sometimes when you put your walking foot on, remember that comes with this machine, which is awesome. That is a great use to be able to kind of shift the needle just a little bit. Another place would be is if I want to sew very close to the edge here, so many times people put their fabric right underneath the center needle position and stitch. Well, look how much of the feed dogs, the teeth underneath the foot, are touching this fabric. Only on this half of the foot is what's pulling your fabric through. So if you can, put as much fabric under your foot and then move your needle to that side and you're gonna have much smoother feeding of your fabric. Just something to keep in mind. Again, you can slide that direction with the zero to six, all those different needle positions there. And then when you're done and you're going back to a normal straight stitch, return this to zero and then put your needle back to the center.